Some characteristics are determined by inherited variation due to the genetic information passed to us by our mother and father. Examples of these include eye colour and blood group. And in this video we're going to look at what we mean by genetic information and how this is passed to the offspring by the mother and father. And the first place we start is by looking at the cell. Hopefully you'll be able to identify the nucleus. And you would have previously learned that the nucleus controls cell activity and that it contains the genetic information or the DNA. So let's look in more detail about what we mean by DNA. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. It's a molecule that contains all the genetic information that codes for all of your inherited characteristics. For example, your eye colour and your hair colour, etc. And like we said, this is stored in the nucleus of the cell. Your DNA is sometimes packaged into chromosomes within the nucleus of the cell. Different organisms have different numbers of chromosomes. Humans have 23 pairs, so 46 in total in every body cell. You inherit half of your DNA from your mother and half from your father, hence the chromosomes come in pairs. So 23 from your mother, 23 from your father makes 46 in total. If you unraveled the chromosomes, you would see the long strands of DNA. A polymer is the name given to long molecules. So we can describe DNA as being a polymer. And you might see that word polymer in other topics that you learn about. It just means a very long molecule. The DNA polymer is in the shape of a double helix. And you can see that shape here. This shape here is what we describe as being a double helix with two strands wound around each other. A specific length of DNA is called a gene. Genes contain the DNA that code for a particular characteristic. For example, if we had our double helix here unraveled from the chromosome, a particular length of that might code for eye colour, for example. And another particular length, another gene, might code for hair colour. In fact, for most characteristics, it's not quite as simple as that, because there might be several genes that code for eye colour and several genes that code for hair colour that all interact to determine what your two characteristics are going to be. But don't forget, you get half of your DNA from your mother and half from your father. So you're getting half of your genes from your mother and half from your father. So your mother will give you a set of genes for eye colour and your father will give you a set of genes for eye colour. And how those two sets of genes from your mother and father interact will determine what your eye colour will be. And the same for hair colour. Your mother will give you a set of genes for hair colour so will your father and how those genes interact will determine your hair colour. So let's look at how you inherit these genes from your mother and father. After sexual intercourse, the sperm will race to meet an egg. Sperm and egg cells are called sex cells. They have half the number of chromosomes as body cells. They have just 23 chromosomes, not 23 pairs. When the nuclei of the sperm and the egg fuse during fertilisation, the fertilised cell now has 23 pairs of chromosomes, 46 in total. So if the sperm manages to penetrate the egg, the sperm is carrying 23 chromosomes, and there are 23 chromosomes in the egg, so now in the fertilised cell, there are 46 chromosomes altogether. And that cell will then divide again and again and again. Hence, all of the cells within the baby will have 46 chromosomes. Half from the mother and half from the father, all carrying those genes which will determine the characteristics of the baby. 
The fact that you receive half of your DNA from your mother and half from your father means you are not identical to your mother or father. The genes you receive from your mother and father interact to determine your characteristics. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.